and welcome to Healthy Living. Yes, Holly and I are here with Dave Martin at the Piggly Wiggly. Hello, everybody. I mean, how many years have you been open? 51, but we're still practicing, so we're not quite sure yet. 51 years. <laughs> I think that's a good thing. Still practicing mm -hmm. means dynamic, always changing. But one of the things that we are that we talked about was one of the reasons we're coming here today to talk about healthy eating is this is the place we all come for healthy eating because of your fresh fish. I mean, it's always fun to come in and find out what it, what you have back in the... Uh, because it changes month by month. I mean, there's local fish like bee liner snappers that are in right now, trigger fish, but we're not here two months ago. Right. No, that, so exactly. So that's just, you know, makes it kind of fun. Well, and Holly's always talking to us about being healthy, and I know you've got all kinds of uh, local produce and local products, mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. There's some good honey here. Some great thing. Can't yep. wait to take a tour. So, so here's what we're all going to do. Actually, Holly and I are going to do this. We're going to take a tour of the store, if we may, and we're going to talk about healthy eating, look at some labels, look at some food, some fresh produce, and Customer just really get a guy. So we're really excited. And you know, the thing is, a lot of people don't know about labels. Still, with all this education, we still need more. Mm -hmm. And we're going to teach them today. And we're going to teach them today. Great. All right, let's go. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> Yes, we are here at the Piggly Wiggly, and we're going to go on a little tour. And Holly, before we get started, though, I would love to have the viewers know a little bit more about you. I think that we sure. see you and talk to you, but you actually know what you're doing in this I grocery. actually know what I'm doing, yes. So I am a registered and licensed dietitian, have been so for more than 25 years, and the health promotions coordinator for Hilton Head Regional Healthcare. So still engage a lot with nutrition education, focusing on heart health and also weight management. And I think when I think about um, health and wellness and nutrition, every single doctor, no matter what their specialty, what are the things that they focus on that we really hate to hear? It's not right. taking a pill and it's not an sure, operation. Sure, they focus a lot about weight and yes. also BMI exactly. and healthy eating. And they, that's exactly what they talk about, healthy eating, exercise and good sure, sleep. Sure, of course, good so, behaviors. So talk to me about a grocery store in general and the layout of the grocery okay. store. So we talk a lot about when you come to the grocery store to shop the perimeter. So if you shop the perimeter, meaning staying on the outside, a lot of times you stay out of trouble. So you think about what's on the outside of the store, a lot of your produce and fresh dairy, fresh meats. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk a little bit about wine and beer and all those good things on the outside. Absolutely. So focus on that. And a lot of times you don't have to worry about labels mm -hmm. if you're staying on the perimeter perimeter of the store. Talk to me about nutrition in sure. general as we're kind of walking. Okay. I, we're here with a lot of fruits. I just think sometimes I get overwhelmed with you know, bottles, yeah. and bottles sure. and what's good. And so the main thing I look at when I look at a display, what stands out to me, I see a lot of colors and we okay. focus a lot on the colors of a rainbow. So look we see green, we gorgeous. see purple. Of course, they're wonderful. Lots of fresh produce. And we still know that fresh produce is best. So fresh, frozen is next, and then canned. Mm. And obviously getting more nutritional benefits with the fresh produce versus something that has been bottled because you're removing the fiber from it. So okay. you want to get the fiber and all the fresh fruits and vegetables. Lots of good antioxidants. And you're, when you're choosing fresh too and you're eating them pretty quickly, yes. once you bring them home, you don't want them sitting around in your fruit basket for a week eat them pretty quickly you get the good benefit of the antioxidants. What's interesting about what you're saying is and I really am just kind of putting this all together now I focus as a psychologist all the time um, about using your senses. Sure. And so from a food and intake that's really what you're saying. Oh definitely Look yeah and and looking at the colors and enjoying the colors and smelling if it's something you could smell and smell that it's fresh and mm -hmm. You know the fruits smell good it's it's oh. really it's very appealing exactly the fruits even the vegetables the avocados sure. do you do a lot of scratch and sniff kinds of things <laughs> yeah. should have a little label on there where you can scratch yeah, exactly. and sniff it right yeah squeeze yeah. me touch me anything so lots of great colors we're into the vegetables now so we know that vegetables are going to be lower in calories compared to your fruits okay so your vegetables do have we say anywhere from 5 to 25 calories per serving has a little bit of protein whereas your fruits are primarily your carbohydrates and calories okay. but no protein but both very beneficial and this should be the basis for your diet we talk a lot about a plant-based diet yes so I just plant-based eating 
Mediterranean style diet, focusing on your fruits and vegetables and your fresh produce. So I'm here looking at all kinds of lettuces. Yeah. Are all lettuces created equal? They are not. So that's a really good question. So most beneficial is your dark leafy greens. Dark leafy greens. So let's see if we can find some dark leafy let's greens. Let's look for dark leafy greens. Let's see if you can pick some out and put them all in right. the cart. Hold, okay, I'm going to the dark, here you go, spinach. Spinach is a great option, sure. Here's a spinach dark leafy green. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. What about a spinach or a spring mix? Spring mix would be a great option Is that a good too. one too? This is another good one as okay. well. Sweet and crunchy. So dark leafy, not saying an iceberg is bad. No, no, no. But you're going to get more nutritional benefits from something that's dark, <laughs> dark green. I'm always looking for the best bang for my buck as I'm choking on my Tic Tac. <laughs> <laughs> in a nutrition segment that's right? all right so I love it. one thing to point out too look at your fresh herbs over here that's a great option so oh. we're trying to get people away from bottled herbs and spices that they have had in their pantry for Basil. 10 years so using a lot of fresh herbs and spices Ooh, you smell get, the rosemary you I can know, even it smells smell wonderful. it smells delicious you get Ooh, the benefit of obviously the flavor mm -hmm. and you also get the benefit of the antioxidants from using those versus using something from a jar or a bottle okay so first yeah. first and foremost we're in the fruits and vegetables we're going around the peripheral of the store sure now we're going into dairy shall we do that oh or definitely shall we go to the yeah. wine department well we can do dairy we'll let's do go the do dairy and, dairy, and okay. then we'll jump over to the wine so all right looking Ooh, at the eggs there's always a discussion about eggs okay. and people say you know should I avoid them how many should I have we know people love their eggs mm. <laughs> yeah they look great I like eggs I like eggs yeah. a lot too. so generally we say if you're choosing an egg that was produced from a hen that was fed omega-3s we okay. know they produce eggs high omega in omega-3 3 content okay that so would be your best in. choice Excellent Definitely. source for B, D, all kinds of stuff. Omega threes. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm in on this. Perfect. Okay, that's good. That's okay. good. So looking at a few options here too. So looking at different butters and cream cheese. You know, we still recommend Smart Balance. That's highly oh, recommended. So Let's low in saturated fat. That's a great option. It also has great taste too. Okay, I've got an olive oil option and yeah. I've got a an original. Does that matter? It really doesn't matter. No, taste? both good options, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about helping us here at the grocery store, are we looking at an overall just well-rounded moderation diet yeah and one thing to keep in mind so looking at the cart we always say when you're filling up your grocery cart two-thirds of your grocery cart should be fresh foods oh two-thirds two-thirds so one-third would be like your jarred and bottled or processed foods so two-thirds is your minimum and then you should also look at all of your colors in your cart too so when you fill it up you should see the colors of a rainbow you know something, we're getting ready to head over into the juices, into the bottle juices and things like that. When we were kids, mm -hmm. we, we um, drank juice as children. Now my kids, my kids tend to do more fresh fruit than sure. juice. Sure, that's a much better option. And why? Well, generally they say, uh, they call it juice abuse. With okay, the little I like that juice kids, abuse. The okay. kids love juice. Mm -hmm. You know, they're drinking calories, getting a lot of sugar, but not getting all the nutritional value of that fresh fruit, meaning the fiber. So Which, they generally say to limit to four ounces per day. Okay. Yeah. Does cheese kill or is cheese good? <laughs> <laughs> I love cheese, I do right? Too. So we educate a lot on cheese. We know that cheese is America's biggest form of saturated fat because what do we put cheese on? Everything. Everything. Grilled cheese, right. favorite food. Grilled cheese, broccoli, yeah. we put it on potatoes. Meat, potatoes, we put it on everything. So if you are struggling with higher cholesterol, okay, a good way to cut back is to cut cheese out of your diet. You know, generally we say a softer cheese is going to be a little bit lower in saturated fat compared to a hard block cheese. What about a mozzarella cheese? It's an okay option. I always okay. say generally try to use it in moderation. I love cheese. You know, everybody loves their cheese and crackers. That's but right. Like I said, if you're struggling to lower your fat content and lower your cholesterol, that would be something to cut back on a little bit. Oh, look, it's the wine department. <laughs> <laughs> Our favorite. Oh, yeah, exactly. All right, let's talk about wine. Sure. So 
talking about different types of wine, red versus white. Okay. I always get that question. Yes. Really, both are beneficial. So, you know, they've done a lot of studies on that and the benefit of the heart. They know that um, you just need to have it in moderation. Okay. So they say for women, one, one serving yeah. per day, which is five ounces of wine, and for men, two per day. So men get 10 ounces per day. We get gypped as women. That's really sad. Yeah. But, but one, if you think about it, that's not a bad compromise. Sure. Okay, so one serving one per One serving day. per day. And the idea, too, so in terms of weight management, wine, a five-ounce glass of wine is 100 calories. Okay. Right? A 12-ounce beer is 100 calories, and a shot of hard alcohol is 100 calories. So still has calories, might be beneficial with the antioxidants, but you still need to it in check. You know, we're going to take a quick break and come back here on Healthy Living. We're not going to sample this wine, so don't even think it. We'll be right back here on Healthy Living. <laughs> 